Right before we get into the video of this, um, since doing the unboxing, I have actually had a look at some other videos online of it. And it, and it turns out this is probably a couple of years old. Um, RC four wheel drive used to sell it as the Desert Runner. I think it was still the, um, the JD models though. But anyway, I wasn't aware of that. I don't watch stuff before I do reviews because I like to give my own opinion on it rather than being swayed by what other people have said. Anyway, enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I was doing two years ago. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we have got this one temp scale desert runner scale truck with hero body set from JD Model. JD Model? JD Model, and it's the JDM F150. It's not licensed, but the name of it or the model number of it, and when you see it, you'll probably know what it's based on. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. Let's have a closer look. Let's see what you get for your money. And then of course, we're gonna take it out for a run. So this is definitely not something I was aware of until I, until I got an email um, asking if I could do a product review. Oh, it's well packaged, look. Until I got asked if I could do a product review. So I looked on the website and I found this, Dumbo RC, and I found this and I thought, I gotta get me one of them. So it's well packaged in the box. Definitely no, um, no worries about this thing getting damaged. This looks pretty good. Hmm. No instructions, unless I left them. I did have a quick, I sort of opened the box up when it arrived just to make sure it was all okay in there. I don't remember taking the instructions out though. This has got some weight to it. Wow, that is heavy. Ooh. Okay, you wanna have a look, <laughs> hang on. So in the box you get your Dumbo RC. This is a six channel. This has got remote locking diffs. I don't know if it's got one or two, but remote locking diff or diffs. Not sure what they are. A couple of little stickers and your wipers. It's, I'm sure there must be instructions. I, may, I wonder if they fell out of the box at home. I'll have to double check. But this is the truck guys, look at it. It looks very nice. The wheels, not sure about. I mean, the tires feel pretty good. The wheels, I don't know. I don't know whether, whether I like them or not, but it looks nice. It does look very nice. Pretty sure the doors open. Yeah, come on. Doors open. Here's your dashboard in there. Seat doesn't move and this side doesn't open. There's your rear bed, F-150. That opens up as well. Very nice. Tow hitch on there. Lights, not sure if the lights work. There's the front. You gotta admit, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Now look underneath. So the body is fixed on there. It's not a quick release body or anything. Uh, there's a spare wheel. That's a proper wheel there. Uh, rear diff, currently open. But there's a cable there that's gotta be yeah, so that's your locking diff there. There's a bit of, is that a bit damp? I don't know, it feels, it looks damp, but it won't wipe off. Uh, there's your cables there for your locking diffs. There's a transfer case. There's a, well, I don't know if that's a reduction box or a gearbox, and again, without instructions, I can't see. And then what looks like a 550 meter in there. Skid pan, yeah, that is a bit of, a bit of fluid bit of fluid on there out the diff. But again, fr so front locking diff and rear locking diff. Transfer case, reduction box or gearbox there. There's some markings on there that have obviously been put in afterwards. I wonder if that's the, uh, the chassis number, PL0866. And then all your steering stuff under there. Do you know, I think what we need to do, because this is a product that we've not seen before, we need to get this body off and have a proper look, don't we? Let's do that. So pretty easy to get the body off. It is just eight, eight screws it comes off. I was trying to work out, so the battery sits in the battery tray there, and I was trying to work out with the body on, which by, by the way, the body weighs an absolute ton. <laughs> that, I mean, that's quite heavy, but this body, I dread to think what that weighs, that's so heavy. Anyway, that sits on there and the battery's in there. And then the bed sits on it. I was like, well, how do you get to the battery? Turns out, 
you slide that out there. That's a pretty cool feature. Honestly, I don't know what this is made of. <laughs> it weighs a ton. Uh, rec receiver is up there, so you have to unplug that to get this off. And, uh, and that's something new for me in this hobby. This is generally what you see uh, people put in stereos in cars using these dodgy terminals, but that's your ESC. Looks like a 1060 maybe, like a hobby wing. Uh, connected to there and it's actually I thought it was a 550 motor it's actually a 35 turn 540 but it looks like a decent motor it's trying to look a bit like a Tamiya one there but it looks a relatively well modified like you know a modified one or oil shocks on the front they're adjustable they're adjustable yeah, adjustable and it looks like they've got a little reservoir as well that's a l cool little feature that I like that so anyway motor goes into what looks like a reduction box and then you've got a uh, like an intermediate drive shaft that goes into a transfer box, which then splits out between the two drive shafts. Metal chassis, metal drive shafts. Is that metal? Yeah, that, is that metal or plastic? I think that might be plastic, you know. Yeah, that's plastic. It looks metal, but it's plastic. Steering servo there. Can't really see the steering, it's in there. I mean, overall, it looks pretty good. I'm just still not sure. You can't see that when the body's on, but it's uh, it's just quite funny for me. It, it will do the job, there's nothing wrong with that. It will do the job it's there, designed for. It's just a bit strange seeing it in, the, in an RC truck. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is before we take it out, I'm gonna plug a battery and leave the body off, and I'll plug a battery in we'll just see on the workshop floor what sort of control so it's got. steering's nice, lovely and smooth. Pretty quick as well. But yeah, really nice, smooth, proportional control. Go for a bit of throttle. Oh, very nice. There you go, look. That sounds good. Very fast on 2S, but Good turning circle there. So turning circle with the diffs open. Not bad. Let's lock them diffs. Yeah, a bit different now. You can feel the wheels slipping about the inside wheels slipping. This has got some potential, I think. Anyway, let's get the body back on and let's take it out on a trail. I forgot to mention the rear suspension again some little shocks there with uh, external reservoir and leaf sprung seems nice and realistic there very realistic so this is a place i have not been for quite some time used to live down here some early videos of mine actually are from down here some from about 2018 perfect place for this i'm out visiting family at the moment so why not come out and do a little video? Not sure if the diffs are locked at the moment. I think they are, let's unlock them. So I wanna leave the diffs unlocked for the time being, just to see what kind of uh, handling we got with the unlocked, well, there you go, straight away. Right, lock the diffs. Look at that, there you go, perfect example of locked and unlocked diffs there. It's quite noisy, noisy uh, drivetrain. What would be good is like a um, sort of brushless, like a Fusion or a Hobbywing Axe in this, that would be really good. But this thing's just so nice in scale, obviously a set of LEDs would go amiss. Anyone spotted who's driving? It's only Harry Potter himself. Harry Potter? Such an honour it is. Harry Potter in a uh, one-tenth trail truck. Who'd have thought it? Guys, this thing is nice. Right, time to check out the drag brake, if it's got one. If it hasn't, it's going to be a quick descent. <laughs> yeah, it has got one. That's good news. There we go. Holding it nice and steady. It's obviously set pretty harsh because it's not moving at all gently on the throttle oh that was a good shot wasn't it well it looked good on my camera anyway
Wow, this thing's awesome. And uh, yeah, like we discovered, <laughs> it has been out a little while. I've not seen anywhere else actually you can get it or you can't get it that easy. Definitely not as um, accessible as it was a few years ago from what I've seen. Oh, a little bit of a tough descent here. Not much ground clearance on this. It is a trail truck, not a crawler. But we should be all right. It's got um, like skid rails. It's also got like a sump guard or skid pan underneath. She's only at 3S. They recommend 3S from what I've seen. I did um, test it in the workshop on 2S. But you get a bit of extra wheel speed with that 3S. Gives it a little bit more pep. Well, I'll be honest with you, this is definitely gonna be sat there on one of my favorite trail or scale trail trucks. That nice hard body needs a little bit of, I don't know, maybe a few touch-ups here and there and maybe a little bit of uh, customization to make it a bit better. I'm not sure on the wheels whether you can change them that easy. Oh. But overall, what a cool rig. Can we get the right line up here? The diffs are still locked. Hasn't got much ground clearance. But like I said, it isn't a crawler. You know what we need here, don't you? Speed and power. Speed, 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 speed. Real speed. Ramming speed. <laughs> there we go. Cheers, Jeremy. Let me know if you like this kind of style. I've got um, I've got my posh camera, nice and low. You get some really nice um, shots using this style of camera. Can't do it for fast stuff though, but works, I think. I, I love the, um, the videography or the style with using this sort of camera. It's much better. Right, so I've got the diffs unlocked now, just a bit of general driving without the diffs locked should give better steer in response, yeah. Oh, I love it. It looks so good in this forest. It looks so good. Not sure how far we're gonna get without your diffs locked. Not sure you can use your wizardry to get up here. No, there you go. <laughs> Diffius Lockius. Yeah. Well, I'm Potter. Oh, and a bit of speed here. A bit of wheel speed, maybe. Found a line. I found a line. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, nearly. Come on, Harry. Yes. Here we go then, this is the test. Diff's locked. We're gonna go this way. Come on this way. Yeah, that's it guys for me, for this truck and for Harry Potter. There's links in the description. You'll also get $50 off at the moment. Cheers for watching and see you next time.
Fill it up.